I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. We hope you can hear the rain falling as you join us today. This slow moving system has the potential to bring significant rain to many parched areas of Oklahoma. A count of days with less than a quarter inch of rain from Wednesday had Kenton at 201 days, Slap Out at 214 days, and Hooker at 101 days. In central Oklahoma, Shawnee had seen 55 days without at least a quarter inch of rain. Hopefully, our latest rains will reset all all of these day counts to zero. The heater was on in western Oklahoma on Tuesday. 13 Mesonet sites had air temperatures hit 100 or higher. Freedom, Alva, and Cherokee reached 103 degrees. High temperatures, high winds, and low humidities have plagued us this spring by pushing up plant water demand. Typical of many locations, a graph of plant water demand from Watonga shows how high 2014 has been. The solid blue fill is the 15-year average for crop and landscape water demand for March through July. The red line shows the water demand so far this year almost double the average for far too many days this spring. Here's Gary with a look at our drought status prior to this weekend's rain. So hopefully wherever you're at, it's raining and it's been raining for a while. Why do we need this rain? Well, it's pretty simple. This drought that we've been in has continued to intensify. Just take a look at the latest U.S. Drought Monitor map. In the last two weeks, we have seen rapid expansion of extreme to exceptional drought across the western two-thirds of Oklahoma. So drought continues to intensify. The Oklahoma Mesonet rainfall statistics for January 1st through May 20th shows that the Panhandle, North Central, Northeastern, and Central Oklahoma climate divisions have seen their driest January 1st through May 20th periods on record, at least since 1921. Statewide, it's been dry, of course, the second driest start to the year at nearly seven and a half inches below normal. So there's the reason for your drought and the last 30 days have been especially dry. Now you can also see the extreme dryness we've had since the beginning of the year on the Mesonet's departure from normal rainfall map. Here you can see for most of the state we're from at least four to about 10 inches below normal since the beginning of the year through Wednesday. So this is your drought right here. Now luckily, we have about uh, four weeks or so of our primary rainy season left in the spring. It really goes from April through mid-June, and right about mid-May through mid-June is our rainiest part of the year. As you can see that on this graph of Mesonet long-term average rainfall. Now as you get past mid-June, it really drops off as we get into the summer. So hopefully this big rainfall system we have uh, forecast for this weekend comes through and it's the start of a really rainy mid-May through mid-June. So again, I, even though it's the Memorial Day weekend, I hope you're dealing with lots of rain, stuck indoors, and you're getting lots of nice moisture. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.